who stabbed him in the back. Did Rebecca Brooks, in your estimation, know about these practices? Was she aware? Uh, I've got to say, yes, I, I have no doubt of that. I don't know anyone at the paper, including freelance photographers and everyone who didn't know it was going on. I mean, quite a few people were disappointed, but this is going back to the 1990s. I mean, if everyone knew in the 90s when Rebecca Brooks was still features editor before she even got promoted to editor, I mean, did she edit the paper with her fingers in her ears and her hands over her eyes? I don't think so. I mean, it's inconceivable she didn't So do you think that Rupert Murdoch was aware of these practices? Actually, I have to say, I don't think he was. No, I only met him once in the office on a Saturday night as the paper was going to press. And he actually always came across to me as almost uh, a, a decent man above the kind of uh, the news of the world, well, basically, it was all about people having an affairs. I mean, sometimes it was almost written as almost soft porn, you know, the way a politician drops his trousers around his ankles and so on. Uh, and I almost sometimes got the impression that Murdoch didn't actually support that, but it made a su sufficient amount of money for him not to interfere. So you um, have said I mean, in this interview, you said that you believe that James Murdoch, he was aware of these practices and by default encouraged them. Yeah, I mean, where I started on this and where I started blowing the whistle was, actually, I was, it was for the point of view of the story, and I remember hiding in Rebecca Brooks's front garden. Yeah, I positioned myself in a bush and uh, for about two days, quite rainy, it wasn't a very pleasant job, and I uh, was just waiting for them to horse ride uh, together, just, just to illustrate the point that we have James Murdoch, we have Rebecca Brooks, and we have a man who wants to be Prime Minister just a matter of weeks before the election and this is how they plan it and this is how close they are and maybe someone should bring this to light and then I went to all the pub restaurants and hotels where they have met and tried to get build up a picture of just how close these people were and maybe too close you mentioned David Cameron the current Prime Minister who you who has a cozy relationship by all accounts with the Murdoch yeah and with the people yeah. at News of the World. Yes. What do you make of that? Was I, he aware of this? And was his relationship, in your estimation, too cosy? Uh, yeah, I mean, I have actually made my own submission to Parliament. They requested my take on it. And I said, there's only two viewpoints of David Cameron's association with Rebecca Brooks. Uh, he's either a complete liar or, or a total idiot. I mean, there's no way that David Cameron is going to look good out of this. Uh, he's either lying about knowing about it, and if you lie in Parliament, that's perjury, and that's a two-and-a-half-year potential jail term, so you're not supposed to do that.